Welcome back to Anderson Smoke Show. Today we are out at the all new Camp Chef Smoke Pro SG30 Wi Fi, and we're going to be doing three racks of hot and fast baby back ribs. Stick around and see how we do it. If you're new here, I'm here to show you the backyard barbecue can be fun and easy. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so that you can keep up with my latest content all summer long. Be sure to like the video, write me a comment, let me know what you think. Now let's get started with these hot and fast ribs on that all new Camp Chef Pellet Grill. All right, let's cut to the chase. I love me some baby back ribs and with the hot and fast method, I can get these done in roughly three hours. And to be honest with you, it's perfect for those nights. If you can get them on right when you get home from work or when you don't have a lot of time to do a low and slow. So I'm gonna show you my method for doing these hot and fast. So we've got three racks of ribs here. Pick these up from the local store. They look pretty good. Uh, we're gonna have to take the membrane off the back of them. We're gonna have to trim them up a little bit. So let's get started with that. When it comes to baby backs, you're gonna see that one side's always a little thinner and sometimes you're gonna have a little bit of an overhang here. So I like to trim this back to about one or two rib bones and square it off. I also like to check to see if there's anything that's kind of hanging over. You could see we got a little bit here. I'll trim that back. These aren't competition ribs. They don't have to be perfectly square, some big fancy perfect cut, but I do like to uh, trim them a little bit, make them cook a little bit more consistently across all racks. And I'm also looking at those last couple rib bones on that thin side. We're going to trim those as well. Before I did any of this, I took a paper towel and dried this off. I like to get all of that purge. That's the blood and the juices that's in the package with the ribs. That just, it's kind of nasty. I like to rinse it off and dry it pretty good with a paper towel. But now that we're ready to remove the silver skin, you can see that shiny membrane on the back. What you need to do, and I'll show you here. I like to start down here at the smaller side get along the back side of one of them rib bones and just take a butter knife like this, work your way across that bone and just kind of give it a little tug. Then take yourself a little sheet of paper towel, grab a hold of that membrane and you can honestly just pull that back away. And we use a paper towel so that you can grip it because that membrane is pretty slippery. And look at that, just pull that right away, perfect. And now that we've got the membrane removed off the back of these baby back ribs, I'm going to use some olive oil as a binder. And I'm just going to pour a little bit in my hand and I'm going to go through and rub this in on the back side of these baby back ribs. And I love to use olive oil, duck fat, avocado oil. I like to use fats as binders sometimes. It just helps produce a really nice finish at the end especially on these hot and fast. And be sure to rub that oil in. All right, and while we've got them on this side, I'm going to use some of the Meat Church Honey Bacon Barbecue rub here. I'm gonna season these up. A little windy today, so I gotta try and use it to my advantage here. Go through touch up just a little bit. All right, and I'll use the back side of my glove just to pat that rub in. All right, we'll flip these over. Once again, olive oil on the glove, just like so. And just a little bit more here on this last rack. And back at it again with that honey bacon barbecue from Meat Church. And we're gonna put a nice generous coat on this side. All 
All right, back side of the glove here again. And we'll just pat that in a little bit. And we're gonna give these a few minutes to sweat while we get the Camp Chef fired up. All right, so for these hot and fast ribs, we wanna run this at 310 degrees. We're gonna go here into the menu. We're going to turn this to 310. We're gonna set smoke level 10. And the startup mode has begun. We wanna open up the lid here to allow proper airflow. And we'll see you when the grill's hot. All right, so the grill's up to 310 degrees. These ribs look great, and they've been sitting here sweating for about 10 minutes or so. It's time to get them in. I think today we're gonna do a nice little diagonal, like so. We'll go ahead and get this closed. Now for these hot and fast ribs, running at 310 degrees is gonna take roughly three hours. We shouldn't have to spritz, but I do have a bottle ready just in case. I'll be sure to fill you in in case we do have to do that. Leave the lid closed, check on them in about 45 minutes or so, see what they look like. At that point, I might rotate the racks just to place them a little differently throughout the grill. But anything that I do, I'll be sure to show you, and I'll see you then. All right, so these ribs have been in the Camp Chef Smoke Pro SG30 for about an hour now. We're gonna go ahead and take a look, see if we need to spritz. I'm just gonna rotate them just because that's good practice when you've got multiple racks of ribs. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, check those out. You can see that oil helps keep the surface moist and I, I really don't think I need to spritz at this point, but I will rotate them. So I'm gonna set one rack up here. That nice big top shelf is nice for these type of applications. We're just going to rotate them just like so. We'll move this one back down to that end. Yeah. We're gonna give them about another 30 minutes or so. We'll come out and check and see what the surface looks like. I've got some spritz ready in the event that I'm gonna need it, but we'll just keep an eye on it and we're only gonna use it if we absolutely need to. All right, we're at the two hour mark on these hot and fast baby back ribs. Like I said, we've been running them at 310 degrees. Let's take a look. And I can tell you right off the bat, no need to spritz, look at that. We're getting some beautiful color on those ribs. And just like before, we are going to rotate. So this will be our last and final rotation of these ribs. And we'll get this one back down in place. Starting to develop a beautiful color on them. Tightening up quite a bit, that's good. See we're getting a little bit of a bend. So these hot and fast ribs are cooking absolutely on track, perfect for that three hour mark. We're gonna let them go, no need to spritz, no need to do anything. We're gonna check them in about 30 to 45 minutes, take a look at them, see how far along they are, and it might be time to sauce at that point. All right, so we're two hours and 45 minutes in. Let's check these ribs, I think it's time to sauce them. Oh yeah, look at that awesome color. You can see we're starting to get a nice little char on them. Yeah, it's time to sauce these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flip all of these ribs. And if you saw my video on the Grill Masters Club box, I got this Lubier mild barbecue sauce out of my Grill Masters box. If you're not familiar with it, I'll put a link to it. It's a monthly barbecue subscription box. They got spices, sauces, all kinds of stuff uh, that you get in these boxes and this sauce was one of them and I'm just gonna brush this sauce on these ribs getting some nice pullback in that Grill Masters Club box what's cool about it is if you're new to backyard barbecue if you're not familiar with all the 
crafty spices and seasonings that are out there. You get a great mix of season, seasonings and rubs and sauces and wood pellets and wood chips every month delivered right to your door and you get to try something new. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. You know, I've done a lot of subscription boxes for fishing and, and other things and I always liked it because I got to try something different. All right, I'm just gonna drizzle some more sauce over the top of these ribs here. And we'll just start to paint our picture here. These are happy ribs. Have you ever had happy ribs before? Uh, you'll be happy when you eat them, that's for sure. And we are putting the sauce on about the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes of our cook here. And all we're looking to do is get this sauce to thicken up and caramelize. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting hungry. Let's get this lid closed and give it 10 to 15 minutes. We'll see you then. All right, these ribs have been in sauce for about 13 to 15 minutes. It's time to pull them. And man, do they look good. Oh yeah. We'll get these on over to the table, give them a try. All right, these ribs are done. It is time to cut them up and give them a try. Pretty excited because I've been liking these hot and fast ribs lately. I've got my Holland Steel Damascus knife. I'll put a link down to their store. They got some awesome products. They sent me this kitchen knife here. Let's go ahead and cut me out a rib. Yeah, take a look at that. Might as well give it a try. Wow. Those are really tasty. It's got a nice bark on it from sitting there hot and fast, no wrap, nothing like that, no spritz. You can see there's a bit of a smoke ring there. These are really good. I'll tell you another reason why I like these hot and fast ribs. I started these at about nine o'clock. It's noon, time for lunch. Picnics, parties, doesn't matter. I've got ribs ready to go by noon and I didn't have to get up at, at dawn to make them. If you want to see more great recipes like these hot and fast ribs, and you want to see more of this Camp Chef Smoke Pro SG30, then I suggest you subscribe, and I'll see you next time at Anderson Smoke Show.